Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. Today I'm creating on a 12 by 12 uh, gallery depth wood panel. Um, here are some of the supplies that I'll be using. I did have a quote that I was going to use in the beginning, um, but I'll tell you the story about how that goes as I move along here. I'm using this beautiful rice paper from Stamperia. I love working with rice paper. It just makes for a really quick and fun project. And then I'm using that green kind of cracked um, background um, scrapbook paper for the background um, because I wanted some color behind the rice paper and it turned out really good. I'll be using my, um, well, I started by using my Liquitex matte medium to adhere that scrapbook paper to my panel. Um, however, um, the scrapbook paper was too thick and so I did um, stop at one point and I got out some heavy gel and finished the process with the heavy gel um, and then uh, put a top coat of the uh, matte medium on the top of the scrapbook paper um, but it was uh, it was a mess the scrapbook paper was just way too thick um, and I was having too many problems with buckling and stuff so um, I saved you the headache of having to watch that part of the process, but um, after this point, as I'm struggling to get it to stick down and it wouldn't, um, I went ahead and pulled it back up and then used the heavy gel to um, get it to stick really well. The heavy gel tends to not, uh, it tends to help with the wrinkling, so because it's thicker. I don't often use heavy gel to adhere my papers, but in this case it really was the answer um, and it did um, come out just fine and everything was nice and smooth. Um, once I put my paper back down, I do use um, just an old piece of uh, credit card um, to, to smooth out um, the paper and make sure that I didn't have any, any buckling or any wrinkles. So. But here's me just struggling to get that on straight. It was just, it was quite something. Um, and you can see there just on the right that I've got the wrinkles and I was just really having a hard time getting them out. So um, I do go back to the Liquitex matte medium for the top layer. Um, and then I smooth that out with a credit card as I mentioned a moment ago. So this here is just matte medium. Um, I'll, I'll <laughs> share the unfolding of this project as I continue to do the voiceover. It was, um, it was a good and fun project, but it definitely gave me some challenges. I um, am really struggling with creating right now. It seems like I start something and I have this great idea, um, but because I've got this kind of wonky disconnect, um, between my heart and my head and just everything going on, things are just not naturally flowing artistically for me. Um, and so I did have to do a lot of um, improvising in this process, but I'll talk to you about that as I go along. Um, and here again is that beautiful rice paper from Stamperia. I did make sure that that surface was really dry before I adhere the uh, matte medium um, or put the matte medium on to put the rice paper um, on top of that because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't having kind of double trouble by trying to deal with wrinkles as well as try to get that rice paper to just adhere really smoothly. So um, that's why you see me applying the matte medium yet again. Um, after it was all dried. Um, and I really had a hard time with getting this rice paper on straight um, because the rice paper measured smaller than the 12 by 12 canvas. Obviously, I knew it wasn't 12 by 12, but it was not 12 inches uh, in height. So um, I did struggle quite a bit to get it in place. And again, just there's this disconnect um, in, between my body, my mind, my emotions, just everything is just kind of sideways. Um, and so everything co is coming a little bit harder right now. Part of that is that I still am not feeling well. And so I don't have all my faculties. So, um, but again, as you've probably seen in other videos, um, once I get that rice paper in place, um, by adhering it underneath, um, I do start to apply the matte medium on the top from the center of the rice paper design to the outer edges, um, which allows uh, or helps with the wrinkles. Um, I have a wrinkle there down at the bottom, but it was just fine. And then I'm again drying that very thoroughly. It's really important that that is not tacky um, because the next step that I do is I'm gonna do my stenciling 
um, here and I want to make sure that my stencil doesn't stick uh, to the rice paper and, and accidentally tear that up. So um, I'm going to be using my Nuvo Expanding Mousse. This is Tuscan Gold. Um, really, really beautiful. I loved the effect. Um, I had had another stencil out in the beginning, um, looked like kind of a tree trunk or tree bark. Um, I decided I did not want to go through the fuss of having to do that stencil three times in order for it to cover the entire, almost three times for it to cover the entire side of this can or this panel. So I went with the, um, the, uh, bricks here. And then I'm drying that Nouveau Expanding Mousse. And then I'll do that bottom section um, because, again, the stencil's not big enough to uh, get all the way uh, to the bottom of that of that panel. So the texture with that Expanding Nouveau Mousse is just amazing. Um, and here um, I um, decided to go ahead and get a stamp out. Um, this says, Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tunes without words. Um, my other um, quote that I had um, at the beginning, um, I printed it out on my inkjet printer and I don't usually have trouble with that and I heat set it uh, for quite some time but then when I went to apply my matte medium over the top of it so that I could do a glaze if I wanted to, the ink just smeared over and over. It was like three times I tried it and I just could not get it to work. So I gave up and I went with the, with the, um, the quote, uh, or the stamp, excuse me. Um, and I did stamp that with my Ranger Ar Black Archival ink. And then I decided to go ahead and bring in this burlap heart, um, because I wanted something there in that little open section above that bird. And so I pulled out a couple of my, um, metal wings, the small ones from my uh, Tim Holtz collection. Um, and here is where I had a little bit more difficulty because I kept trying different arrangements and then it just, it didn't work right. It wasn't, it just, it just was not working. Um, and so I decided that, uh, and I didn't like that all that glue was showing through. So um, I went ahead and got out my raw umber um, fluid acrylic and painted this burlap heart um, with that brown. Um, and then started again with um, trying to decide what I wanted to go on that hard. Um, I love how it turned out, but it just definitely did not flow very smoothly at all. Um, but, you know, that's okay. And working through those struggles and through those barriers, I think, um, has a lot of value, um, too, because um, even though I don't feel like I'm my normal self, um, I am creating and that's a good thing. And so um, I appreciate you bearing with me as I um, try to be transparent here about um, the struggles and the process. It is definitely challenging. Um, so um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm still going to use those small wings. Um, and then I'm going to use that small heart that you, um, oh, I'm not sure if you saw it because I cut so much out of this video. Um, so we'll see if it looks familiar or not. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put those wings in the center. I wanted to cover up. There's like a, a hole there in the, in the heart with a metal ring and I wanted to cover that up. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put those wings um, on top of um, that kind of meeting at the middle. And then there's a small heart that's going to go in this in the um, in the middle of those. Just using that uh, cloth to get the um, glue bits off of that. Uh, I don't like those to show. So uh, even though, again, it does dry clear, um, I don't like the look of it. Um, and here's the small heart. I'm going to go ahead and put that right in the center. I'm also was trying to create this video this afternoon um, while we're kind of trying to get ready to leave for our trip. So um, I didn't want to sit around and I was done doing what I needed to do. So I decided I would go ahead and give it another go. Uh, I don't give up. That's one thing I will tell you. I, I'm not a quitter. So I just am keeping on pressing on even though I um, I'm not feeling good and things aren't really feeling like me. Um, so anyway, um, and there's just another kind of ornate uh, heart shaped kind of metal piece that I thought would be really pretty on the top there. And I really liked how that turned out. 
Um, and then I, the last thing I decided to pull was this uh, metal arrow. These are all, all these metal, metal bits are from Tim Holtz collection. And I really liked, I'm glad that I added the arrow because I, I felt like it needed something above. And um, I, I like what it represent, what all those pieces represent. So, and there's just a close up of that. And then I'm going to be doing a raw umber glaze um, just on that right hand uh, panel um, where the bricks are. Um, I did not want this piece to get dark um, and I was successful. Um, I'm not always successful at that, but I was able to keep the light um, and the, the brightness of that rice paper design. Um, really, really pleased with that. But I did give this a really good coat of my um, of my glaze. And again, that's my raw umber fluid acrylic and uh, golden glazing medium. And I do do a couple of di uh, two layers of the glaze. Um, I don't show all of that because it's it's just repetitive. Um, basically, you're applying it uh, with your brush and then wiping it back with a baby wipe um, and then kind of just leaving um, that color where you want it and removing it where you where you don't want it. Um, and so sometimes it takes a couple of times to get it just right um, because this first time I tried, I think I wiped off more than I wanted to and. Um, so I kind of just doing the dance and, and, uh, applying and, and removing as I felt I needed to. So here's me coming back and, and giving it a little bit more color there. I really liked that I put that green, um, scrapbook paper behind it because you can see the green in between the cracks of the rock. And I really thought that was, uh, very pleasing. So, um, there you can see that. And the expanding mousse is just a dream. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, when you dry it with the heat tool, it, it just ch it changes texture, it bubbles up, and it's just incredible. And here, I apologize, this is a little bit off screen there at the bottom, but I did come in with my glaze um, and go around um, the edges of the um, piece as well. Um, I do that again a couple of times um, until I get it just right. And then the last thing I'll do is come in with my, um, my uh, Soho uh, Soft Pastel in black. Um, but I'll do that after I um, uh, clean up these words with my uh, permanent marker. So um, because I can't use, obviously use a stamp, stamp platform with a canvas, um, I got a fairly good impression with this stamp, but there were some spots that needed a little bit of darkening. So I went ahead and did that and used my marker um, and uh just uh, highlighted some of those um, those lines and made them a little bit bolder uh, and darker where they needed to be. So, I hope that you enjoy the video. I'm going to go ahead and talk a moment about. Um, an offer that I'm doing on my channel. Um, I am currently at 88 subscribers and um, I had set um, a goal out there to get to 100. Uh, so the video the video that we hit 100 subscribers, the following video, I will be randomly picking someone and awarding them with a mixed media goodie bag as well as an original piece of art from me. So um, you can check out my Facebook page or my blog um, for the details of that. Um, and here is where I'm coming in with my uh, black soft pastel and doing all of my edging and um, I thank you so much for coming and watching I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you learned something uh, above all I hope that you learned that it's okay to play even if it's a struggle even when it's hard and it doesn't go the way you want it to at least I'm learning that so um, take care of yourselves thank you again for watching bye bye